Hey everybody, this is Jonathan, and welcome to the first episode of The Debrief, where you get to go inside my mind while I play a game and get to understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and when I make mistakes, what I did to correct them. So here we are at SC Village in Southern California. I'm here with the Airsoft Megastore guys. I got Vince there in the black in front of me with the camera. We've got Ross over here on the right with the helmet and the plate carrier, and then I've got John over there in the sniper veil, and the four of us are going to be working together as a team with the rest of our team to complete the objective. Now, this mission here is a defense for us, so our job here is to hold the line to make sure the enemy forces don't assault through us. Run, 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 run. On these smaller fields especially, when you're trying to get good position, get good if you don't move fast off the break, you can actually lose the game. So no. if you're going to be the first in line, make sure you're moving quick. Hey, swing behind you. So here I am taking up shots. I got John there in front of me. You can kind of see below my barrel, and I'm looking down this really long lane. Now I notice there's a guy shooting behind me, a friendly here. He's got a lane, I'm and I'm okay. going to ask him if I can cross. All right. Go, go, Got it. Thank you. All right, now that's really good teamwork. Hey, I, I like that. I mean, working with players like that, communicating and not Shoot. being afraid to talk this is and not share is really important. I mean, making sure I could have been shot in the back of the head, I could have been shot by an enemy, because that's a really long lane. Now, I'm also covering an angle here. Now, a lot of players will get focused on straight down the field and forget to look hey, at their flanks. Hey, John! You got somebody right in front of you on that Connex, on the left. Watch your head. He's about 35 out. They know where I am. So I actually just took a shot there to the gun, looked down to make sure nothing's wrong. And I'm letting Ross know I have no angle here. So I'm telling John here in a second, I want to move up to him. Hey, John. I'm going to come to you. Yeah, I got too many rounds coming in. Alright, so John just now got really shot there. He was going to try to keep some cover for okay, me so I can make the low. move up. So now it's important for yeah, me to right go and you. take his spot. If we don't own that lane, we're going to get defeated. Right behind you. Hey, moving up. Ross, right here with you. Alright, so I'm up here with Watch Ross right line. now, and I was going to take my left. No, no, I got crossed. But then I saw this angle here. Hey, who's with us on the left? Outside left? Outside. We got a friendly on the outside. So my left. concern was I see any players Shoot. up under that stairwell. In fact, if you kind of look out there, you can kind of see that there are people under that stairwell and they're sending fire our way. So my concern is not to get shot from across the field. That's not where they're coming from. They're coming from actually the left right now. Hey, so but I really me? have some issues with guys over there. Who's behind me? Uh, friendly guy? Somebody got a lane, got the lane here to my left or you got this pretty good locked up? All right, so there's this player right behind me, and Ross is telling him to actually get up and cover that lane. He's been actually just laying prone and observing, and not actually shooting. And of course, when he finally does pop up, because he didn't have fire superiority, he got hit. So now I have to shift. So now I can't cover the angle, which is a big concern for me right now, because now we're exposed. I'm exposed here on my right, and Ross is as well. And now I have to take that new position and cover this long lane. I mean, this is a really long lane. It goes all the way back to basically their starting point there at the end of the field. All right, I got this lane, but watch that cross lane, Ross. I'm pretty exposed right now. The important about taking us. these lanes is holding them down. You see me? I'm actually just shooting at some random spots over there against walls and barricades and bunkers just to put some noise to keep heads down. And that's suppressive fire in airsoft. And it works fairly well. There we go. Had some rounds come by. Took out my gun again. A second gun hit for the day. But gun hits don't count. Yeah, there's two. Eat it. Got him. You see, that's what happens. You get a good shot because you're watching shadows. Got another guy over there. Took out both of them. So I had two players I took out in that one maneuver. Hit. One through the crack and one through the side. Hit. But remember how I good mentioned shot. the side over there? Well, guess what? I got Crossing. shot from it. I had that concern. No one was there to cover that angle. And, of course, I died. And I really wish that player that was behind me would have moved up and taken that and covered it. 
So here I am back in, and rather than go back to where I was to support my teammates, I moved back, saw we had a lot of friendly players moving up on the left side of the field. Now this is the right. But I noticed there's a lot of players just kind of hanging out, like this guy over here with the right with the pistol, just trying to shoot across the field with it. This guy got shot, so now I'm concerned about this side of the field and holding the defense. So again, more players just kind of chilling, and I need to move up because there's no one past me at this point. Now I finally got him. Now what I had to do was this. I was sitting okay. really low behind this uh, little container here next to me, and I had to stand up. He went prone, so I had to change Watch elevation. You gotta do that sometimes. When you see an enemy and they go prone, sometimes a simple elevation change by standing up makes all the difference. And then I got another one. His teammate, I guess, ran in there. I wouldn't have run in there and done that, but you know what? He is trying to push up. He's playing the objective, and the objective is assault. Now what's great is we took that other guy out, so I got two guys killed there, and it allowed the team to move up. And this is all about that teamwork. You know, you're not the one moving up. Make sure you're putting good fire in. So here I am shooting across the field. We got a couple of teammates really holding a solid line here in front of me now, so we're good. How much time do you have? Uh, almost to that green building. We got this friendly player over here who's pointing out some enemies for me, which is great. They're all packed up, kind of standing there and not paying attention. So I'm able to get all three kills on that group. Because you know what? He didn't have the range. He's actually running a pistol, and I have my gun. And there's the whistle. I clear my gun. Give a big old high five because you know what? That is awesome teamwork. So yeah, guys, that is what this is all about. Playing together as a team, working as a team, and communicating. If you're just trying to play solo, it's just not going to work. So hey, I'm really interested in what you guys think about this series. Do you like it? Do you want to see more of these, the debriefs where I'm in my mind telling you guys what's going on? Or do you want to see some changes? Let me know down there in the comment section below. And if you're interested in seeing the gun or the gear I'm using during this game, I'll have links to both of those in the description. Well, thanks a bunch for watching, guys and I'll see you on the next episode of The Debrief.